We live in a culture that's spiritually very deprived, that's very material based. In other words, we live in a culture that does not give human beings what they really need. That leaves a huge hole in people. The notion that there is a spiritual component to healing has been totally excised from biomedicine. Spirituality and healing? What does spirituality have to do with healing? So we're all going to be drinking ayahuasca tonight. Trust yourself. You've heard the call. You've felt the call to be here. It's a tea. It's always made from two plants, one of which contains the hallucinogen, dimethyltryptamine, or DMT. DMT is what I call a true psychedelic. Some people talk about the chemical. It's not a chemical. Ayahuasca is a spirit. The wisdom of learning through plants is a, is a cultural tradition that goes back hundreds, if not thousands, of years. It's gotten me in touch with my spirit, which I had, like, no concept of before. It's opened my heart in a way that I never had it open before, ever. Most religions make a great deal about how you must have faith. What's interesting about ayahuasca is you don't have to have faith. Don't believe me. Don't believe what anybody tells you. Take it. Have the experience. Evaluate it for yourself. I'm not going through this life and not doing ayahuasca. There is no way. Just experiencing everything possible that's in life at any given moment. And it's just, you know, it awes you in the silence. Well, I could tell Kirsty wasn't quite having as great a time as I was. It was truly, truly indescribable, the horror. Like, I thought I was going to die. If that isn't the most humbling thing I've ever done, I don't yet know what it means. So approach ayahuasca with, you know, obviously respect, with reverence, and also with gratitude. Is there a key insight that you get after you've taken lots of ayahuasca? Well, it sounds trivial, but the insight is you don't know shit. Yeah, like this. 